All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, um, I'm, I need to wash my car because it's filthy. But before I do that, um, I was probably, I was thinking today like, you guys are probably wondering like, why haven't I modified my car yet? Um, and it's been a while since I have. And this is where a question that I need to ask you guys before I actually get into like the whole video and stuff. There's other little things that I would like to do to the car, like say like side skirts or rear spats and other little smaller price things. Or I've also got, I have been buying things guys. So I've got the EGR deletes and I got TGV deletes. But I actually got the whole upper and lower full one piece by I Build Race Cars. I've got flex fuel kit so I can go 85. And oh. and I've got the uh, Grim Speed electronic boost controller. So if you guys have been wondering like why I haven't been like modifying my car, I've been buying parts. I bought parts. All this stuff also I did. If you guys follow uh, my WRX channel, um, I did, this were these were all of his parts. Whenever he sold his WRX and then he ended up getting his STI, I bought all of his stuff off of him. But I still need to get a front mount intercooler, fuel pump, and then a tune. But that's you know probably twenty five hundred dollars, maybe a little bit less than that. But so I'm, I'm still saving for stuff like that. Do I keep on saving and put off on all the other stuff until I actually am able to go for more power mods? Or should I go ahead and just start doing little things and just keep on putting the power mods off? Let me know in the comments below. Alrighty, so as you guys can see, I've got bug guts crap all over the car. The entire thing. It needs washed. Oh, before I do get started on that, I picked up some new car wash soap. The Griot's uh, car wash soap. You guys ever use it? I don't. I haven't, so I'm gonna try it out. Um, and I guess I'll let you guys know if it's any good. Yeah, I would uh, definitely recommend it. It is definitely the the soapiest and the sudsiest uh, car wash soap I think I've ever used. Alrighty guys, car is all cleaned up, looking really, really, really good. All besides I got, I, I, my front bumper is so trashed. I don't know if you guys can even see it, but you can see all these little tiny rock chips. I think if I were to tell you guys, if you guys were to buy a brand new car, or at least a Subaru, go get it, go get that like clear film, get, get that, because if I were to get my car brand new, um, that's probably what I would have done the very first day that I bought it. So, so for what you guys clicked on, what are my future mods for the Subi? Um, there's a lot, and I've already I've already went and I told you guys about uh, the E85 
and all TGB deletes, EGR deletes, all, all that stuff. I don't, I just don't know if I should do that right now because I haven't been modding my car. And I know that you guys want to see mods and it's just, it, it costs a lot, you know? So it's, it's an expensive hobby, it really is. But for everything else, oh, I did, um, I did install new HIDs, 8,000K uh, in the low beams and then 3,000K yellow fog lights. Okay, so obviously they're not going to be as bright during the day, but these things, the yellow comes like all the way out here and it brightens up the entire front end of the car, but they look really, really good. That blue with that sea light and stuff too. But like this is like bright, bright yellow. They look really, really good. The whole front end of the car just looks fantastic. Okay, so future mods. Um, for the front end, I, I really like the way it is. Um, I don't think that I could actually like run a splitter or anything like that. Um, I'm already so low and I'm really not even that low, but I'm already too low for my driveway. So um, I know that you guys have been going and saying like, get those ramps for your driveway and stuff. I might have to get, I might have to do that. But a splitter and stuff, I'm, I don't know. It's, it's just really not me. I, I like the way the, nice clean subtle look of it the way it is right now um maybe go carbon fiber one day but i don't know i don't know other than that i would love to i want to get a front mount once i get all my other stuff and everything and then i want to cut out my grill cut out all these little hunting comb things right here and then the crash bar for the front mount, I'm wanting to paint that white. And then you'll be actually be able to see like the crash bar and stuff in the front mount. And then also cut out all the honeycomb and stuff on the bottom so you can actually see the front mount and stuff. But that's that's later on down the road. For like side skirts and stuff, I'm wanting to get some side skirts, just little tiny extensions, and then have it bump up in the back right here, and then some rear spats. Also, you guys have been like, I don't know, it's like a hit or miss. It's a love-hate relationship with this uh, duckbill for you guys. Um, I've also really been thinking about either going VIS or um, Sabon, the carbon fiber trunk. I don't know, let me know in the comments below, do you guys think I should go carbon fiber trunk or should I keep the way it is right now? Just because, I mean, it's kind of like iconic for me, like that's, that's my car's look, you know, and just that's how people know my car because the big-ass duck bill. Uh, rear diffuser, I'll probably never do a rear diffuser. For the inside, I would love to do um, like a harness bar that'll go through here, maybe, and like paint it white so I can actually get some harnesses. But, I mean, the, the seats and stuff, I love the seats the way they look and it's actually really comfortable with just the regular seat belt but I don't know who knows and also another one you guys have always been saying like why don't you get a steering wheel like a Sparco steering wheel and with a quick quick release and stuff like that the thing is is with my last car I didn't have cruise control this car has cruise control and until you don't have cruise control um, and you don't know how much you actually miss it until you don't have it so that's why um, i'll end up keeping this steering wheel i mean it's a good looking steering wheel i love the flat bottom stuff like that if i ever did go with a different steering wheel i think they make um other steering wheels that you can replace all the buttons and stuff that's what i don't want to get rid of is all the buttons but has has a different steering wheel with like alcantara and some like carbon fiber and bits and stuff like that in there and yeah, but that's, I, I don't know if I'll ever do that. So hopefully that'll answer you guys' questions on that. Um, for the head unit and stuff, I I was going to go with that whole Android, uh, like the, what is it, like the 10 inch Android screen, but it doesn't come with a backup camera. So I don't want to get rid of that backup camera. Um, so I'll end up keeping that. It's not a bad looking radio anyways. I'm, I'm not really a big like audio guy, but 
the speakers in this thing, they do suck really, really bad. Also, let me know in the comments below if any of you guys have, what is it, like the Rock for Fosgate? Uh, like if you got like the, the limited edition, I think it comes with a Rock for Fosgate, or is it Harman Kardon, something like that. Um, what speakers are good in these cars? Let me know in the comments below about that. For these, they, they make a, like carbon fiber ones of whatever the hell these things are called, but they make carbon fiber ones, and I do want to get those. I think those look super sweet. Um, I think you actually do have to like bolt them to the to the bumper, but I think those would be really cool. And for the side and stuff, I would love to go wide body or fender flared. Uh, let me know in the comments below, like what do you guys think I should do? Go fender flared or wide body? Get like a wider stance uh, set of wheels and tires and possibly bags. I would love to get bags. The only thing that I'm worried about with bags is that uh, I'm worried about the winter. That's the only thing. I'm worried about like airlines uh, freezing over and busting and stuff like that. So that's, I don't know. That's why I'm just on coils and I just stay static. And under the hood, obviously I want to go front mount. So that will be gone and I'll end up going front mount and then I'll probably I don't know mess with like the engine dress up and stuff I would like to get like a cover here or at least like the cover that goes on here by like Perrin and if you guys didn't know also if you guys are new to the channel I know I say it quite a bit if you guys didn't know this is um, a stage 2 WRX with a catalyst J pipe yeah you can't even see it down there uh, by MA Performance I'm running the stage 2 uh, tune just the off the shelf off the shelf tune from MA performance. It makes good power um, I would love to be around the 400 wheel horsepower 350 torque um, I know that you don't want to go over 350 torque So that's that's definitely a, my goal once I go e85 and front mount. I think it's pretty obtainable and then um, I'm lowered on fortune auto coilovers it's got a good stance to it. Got a good stance. So. So yeah, guys, that is my upcoming mod list. Like what to expect uh, for mods uh, uh, for the channel and stuff like that. I just, I just don't know, like what I want to do first. That's where I'm. I'm asking you guys. Should I just keep on waiting and keep on saving? Because uh, I have other bills. You know, I have a house. Um, I have car payments and. Uh, I have a mortgage and all, all of the other regular bills and stuff like that that comes with being an adult. Uh, um, I just don't know like if I want to go, you know, the extra $2,000 right now to finish the whole power mods or should I go ahead and just start doing little bits here and there on uh, like aesthetics and stuff like that. So that's where I need your guys' help to let me know if I should do something like that or not or if I should just wait. So yeah, I, I know that this video was kind of short I'm sorry about that um, or I don't know if it was short or not I haven't edited the video yet but um, I know that there wasn't a whole lot into it but it was more of like an update thing letting you guys know that I I have been buying parts you know so I am still modding the car it's just just taking some time so so yeah guys if you guys have any other questions let me know in the comments below if you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel till next time guys keep grinding.